Raspberry ketones, can they help you lose weight or do anything else? Hey, I'm Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com. This is a quick video. I am working on a fat burner review for my website and I'm summarizing the research on different weight loss products. And I came to Raspberry ketones and I wanted to readdress it. I've already covered this in the past on my site, but I thought I'd be good to do a video on this topic. Um, and I, I originally wanted to call this Raspberry ketones can help you lose weight until I Found an interesting study involving humans on a totally different topic, and that's why I added anything else. So let's just jump right into it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I think if you stick to the end of the video, you'll be very interested in what I discovered. So what the heck are raspberry ketones? These are the things in raspberries that make them smell like raspberries. So again, raspberries don't have a lot of raspberry ketones in them, and that's why people tend to put them in dietary supplements. And I first came across this, oh gosh, seven, eight, nine years ago when I heard Dr. Oz call them, quote unquote, a miracle in a bottle that'll burn your fat. That got me interested, and then I started doing some research, which I'll show you in a, in a minute. But they look like synephrine. So synephrine is a, is a stimulant-like proper a compound, which again finds its way into some ephedra-free weight loss products. Um, doesn't you know? It may have a little bit of uh, stimulant properties, and that may be another reason why it's in fat burners and weight loss supplements. But I think the effect is probably minimal at best. Uh, and, and again, I want to point out that because we know the ketogenic diet is very popular these days, raspberry ketones are not ketones. So if you're taking a ketone supplement and it contains raspberry ketones, they're pulling the wool over your eyes. These things won't put you into ketosis or anything like that. There's ketones is a general word. It's not the ketones you're thinking about. So let's let's forget that and let's just move the heck on. So where's the weight loss proof that raspberry ketones work? So when I originally investigated this stuff a few years back after I heard it called a miracle in a bottle to burn your fat, I did some investigation and here's what I found. Number one, Anti-obese action of raspberry ketone. This study came out in 2005. This is a mouse study. Uh, basically, they gave mice high-fat diet for several weeks, and they give them raspberry ketones, and basically they're saying, hey, it helps people lose weight, or helps mice lose weight, not people. Uh, okay, great. That's a mouse study. What else we got going on here? We got a study in 2010. We got raspberry ketone increases both lipolysis and fatty acid oxidation in 3T3L1 adipocytes. Uh, mouse study. In fact, this is a male mouse study. Uh, where's the love for the female mice in this study? They only use mice that were they were of male gender. So, eh, whatever. You know, scientists are funny sometimes. Um, and, and they find that, uh, you know, it, it helps fat burning, essentially. That's what lipolysis means. And they also noticed that uh, the raspberry ketones increased uh, the, the secretion of a, of, a, of a substance called adiponectin. And that's a, basically a hunger hormone, okay? Um, but again, I, let's take a deep breath. We are not mice. We are humans. And I, I'm, I'm really skeptical when I look at... At supplements basing their proof on mouse only research. So I, I did a little bit more research and found this study from 2017. Raspberry ketone fails to reduce adiposity beyond decreasing food intake in mice fed a high fat diet. So this kind of this study from 2017 kind of seems to contradict the other study. Uh, it doesn't help weight loss, um, but it might help curb appetite. Okay, that's really interesting. Again, we're not mice. Uh, what I also highlighted in this particular study, um, plasma adiponectin concentration was unaffected. So it again, contradicted the previous study that showed that adiponectin levels were changed with raspberry ketones. So at, at the end of the day, guys, does raspberry, raspberry ketones gonna help you lose weight? And, and I would say, a, we got some mice research, we're not mice, and I still can't find any human weight loss research. So uh, is it a miracle? No, I don't think it's a miracle. Um, I'd like to see some studies involving humans. I am quite surprised that in the, uh, what are we looking at, from 2005 to 2017, um, when this first hit the market, I don't see any human studies. What the heck's going on between 2005 and 2017? Nobody's taking this into a lab, giving it to people? Okay, whatever, I'll just move on. So here's the other reason why I, 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 I said, can it do anything else? Any human proof for raspberry ketones? And here we go. Effect of topical application of raspberry ketone on dermal production of insulin-like growth factor one in mice, and get this, on hair growth and skin elasticity in humans? 
Basically, they took a topical preparation of raspberry ketones and gave it to people. Again, small group of people. We're only talking like only talking about like maybe ten people here. Um, and, and after several months of use, the, the their skin started to seem more elastic, but also they appeared to grow hair. And I'm probably going to do another video on it. But what we look at, what, what, what kind of hair growth are we talking about here? Check this out. So here are the before and after pictures of people that uh, use raspberry ketones uh, on, the, on their head for, for, for five months. Look at this person in the bottom right-hand corner, bald to not bald. These, these results, to be honest with you, are when I, when I looked at this, I was dumbfounded by this. Um, I mean, the other is, okay, there's something going on, but that one in the lower right, holy mackerel, going from basically Kojak to somebody with significant amounts of hair on his head. Um, so this is the only study on hair growth that I have seen so far. I'm going to um, delve more deeply into it, but I wanted to toss this out to you um, and, and just to get you thinking. And I'll probably do another review once I research this a little bit better. Um, I haven't yet seen any topical raspberry ketone solutions for hair growth, um, but I will keep you abreast of this. Uh, but again, when it comes to, for instance, uh, uh, you know, weight loss, I don't see it. Eat the raspberries, bag the supplements. Um, I don't see any good human weight loss studies out there. Again, we're not mice. As for side effects of taking the supplements, I'm not quite sure what those would be because, again, I don't see any human research. Uh, so, again, guys, I, hair growth is interesting. As for the weight loss properties of raspberry ketones, I'm personally not buying it, but I'm always open to better research. So, guys, I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a fantastic day. Got any questions or comments? Leave a question or comment in the section below. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.